Good evening to one and all gathered here. On this very special occasion, the 100th birthday of our beloved Batma Bhushan, Dr. Jacob Cherian, I thank and praise God for giving me this opportunity to say a few words about our beloved Aya. My mind goes back to 1980 when I was in CMC. One fine day, there was a young doctor by name Dr. Tom. He told me that Dr. O.B. has conveyed to him that his dad had been looking for a BSc graduate nurse to come and work here for the AM course, to be a teacher for the AM course. And he conveyed that to me. I had no idea where this umbilical was. But that time, it was the Lord's will. Just before that, the Lord had told me that I was supposed to go and work in a very remote village for which I have said yes to the Lord. And so, I just came over here and I joined here. And I met Aya, I met Amma, and I was overwhelmed with the love Amma showed to me. And those days, it was not like this with so many houses. And, but we had the guest house and we had Aya Amma's house and there was a hostel. And uh, I was living in the hostel along with the multipurpose students. And Amma used to tell me, you come home and collect water. As the others narrated, we had water scarcity here. And many times the water that I have for bath and washing my clothes are rain water. And then water for drinking was also not so safe. But, you know, very often I used to go to their house, she used to invite me even for dinner or any other time when I had to go, she'll say, okay, come and have food here, great. And as it was, everyone or the dignitaries have shared much about our beloved Aya. One day I was going with one of the doctors to the village, I usually go with her. That time she told me, she commended, and how wonderful here, Aya does so many surgeries, and we hardly see any patients uh, is uh, affected with any kind of infection. And all the surgical wounds are healed. Whereas, in even in well-developed institution, we find patients suffering with infection. And she said, the main reason for that, or the only reason, is the power of Jesus, who is with Aya. She, being a Hindu doctor, could comment that about Aya. And he, our Aya, not only in the hospital, he was taking care of the patient and even in the community. And in the community, the, all the mini health centers, as you all know, that he had been taking care of the patients and meeting their needs. And uh, the villagers who come over here, he was e immediately, he used to give care for them. And I have seen poor people just walking inside his, of the in, inside his consultation room. They may be very poor with the dirty, very dirty dhoti, but when they go in there, they would, Aya would greet them and they also would be with big greeting to Aya. Aya would make them sit there and many times they would demand what Aya was supposed to do. And when you look at Aya with great compassion, he will attend to their needs. And he'll take care of them and he would make them feel that they have been taken care of in the best way possible. I have seen Aya as an evangelist, and um, at 7.30, every day morning, there would be prayer in the chapel. Students used to go to attend, and there would be Aya also there. And soon after the students' prayer, prayer used to be in the OPD. And there again, Aya would be there. And I'm so happy that I had the privilege of attending that prayer in the OPD and then pray for the patients along with Aya. Not only that, any time an evangelist who crosses, many such evangelists used to come and see Aya and um, perhaps they need some help, needed some help. And these such evangelists, Aya used to have great concern and he used to acknowledge their, um, their sincere mission for the Lord. And when the bell rings in the chapel, we know there's going to be a prayer that day with a special evangelist. And all the students would go and most of us here would be attending that. And many times I have seen Aya praying with tears. Anytime I have witnessed Aya praying, standing in front, 
always with tears. Never have he, has he prayed without shedding tears. The compassion and kindness and the deep sense of affection he had for the people, and it is incomparable. I have just seen only in him. And his great humble nature is also something I would appreciate. Not only that, his patience. And something that I have been so much helped with was